from CollectiveEvolution.com Bob Lazar, the man who blew the lid off of Area 51 shows off his water-powered car. By Arjun Walia. Decades ago, when an individual claimed to work at a military facility that required top-level security clearance, and spoke about classified military secrets, and technology, they were ridiculed. This is why, in some cases, they were allowed to speak and share sensitive information, because most of it was so unbelievable and easy to ridicule that, instead of the world of secrecy retaliating, they let these individuals speak their mind. In the past, individuals blowing the whistle, regardless of whether or not their backgrounds could be verifiable, was something that didn't happen as much as it happens today. Take for example, the hundreds of high-ranking ex-military and political personnel sharing their experiences with UFOs. Today, UFOs are official, as the Pentagon recently released a video of an object performing maneuvers no known aircraft can. The topic is also becoming popular within academia, as a number of peer-reviewed research articles have also emerged hinting strongly to artificial surface interventions on other bodies within our solar system, like the Moon and Mars, for example. Who is the man in the video below? It's Bob Lazar, the one who blew the lid open on places like Area 51, a secret military base that's been used to test advanced military aircraft, and supposedly other things. Its existence was officially disclosed by the U.S. government a few years ago, but it's important to note here that there are multiple military bases located throughout the U.S., some even more secretive than Area 51 and some are even located beneath the ocean floor. For more detailed information on that topic, you can refer to the two articles linked below that we've published on the subject. Who is Bob Lazar? Decades ago, Bob Lazar hit the mainstream and became quite popular after claiming to have worked on reverse engineering extraterrestrial technology at a site called S4, near the Area 51 facility. He's also mentioned information about extraterrestrials and the fact that there are multiple groups, some of which have been in contact with several global governments. Everything is in a process of investigation both in the United States and in Spain, as well as the rest of the world. The nations of the world are currently working together in the investigation of the UFO phenomenon. There is an international exchange of data. General Carlos Castro Cavero, 1979. He also claims to have been in contact with Edward Teller, a Hungarian-American theoretical physicist, known as the father of the hydrogen bomb. On a side note, individuals of Teller's stature have long been speaking up about the UFO issue. Take one of the founding fathers of modern rocketry, Hermann Oberth, who stated that It is my thesis that flying saucers are real and that they are spaceships from another solar system. I think that they possibly are manned by intelligent observers who are members of a race that may have been investigating our Earth for centuries. According to Lazar, he met Teller at a conference and had a brief discussion with him. Lazar sent him a resume inquiring about a job. Lazar said that, Dr. Teller responded by telephone and told me that he was no longer active, but just functioned in a consultant capacity. He gave me the name of a contact to call in Las Vegas, I made that call and things progressed from there. When Teller was asked on camera if he knew Bob Lazar, he refused to answer and said if asked again, he will sit silently. Today, it's much easier to take Lazar seriously given all of the information that's emerged corroborating his story and the fact that his story hasn't changed one bit since he began speaking. In the link below, here's one of Lazar's most recent interviews. Lazar currently runs a business called United Nuclear, where he maintains the availability of scientific equipment, supplies and chemicals to the general public, experimenters, and learning institutions. They make basic scientific supplies as well as difficult to find rare and unusual science-related products available to the hobbyist, teacher, experimenter, and professional organizations. Below is a video of him showing off his water-powered car. As he says, you can't really use water for fuel but, you use water as the source material, you run electricity through it and it breaks it down into hydrogen and oxygen and then you can burn the hydrogen. There are no shortage of interviews regarding the topic of UFOs with Lazar. All it takes is a quick Google or YouTube search and you'll be able to find more.
Thank you for watching. Please help spread the word by sharing and subscribing for more thought provoking content, and give us a thumbs up if you liked the video. Your support is greatly appreciated. Be aware, and stay safe, out there.